Today is Monday. Uh, I'm gonna try my best to do a legit vlog and uh, pretty much show, you know, how, what I do and, uh, you know, haul and steal and whatnot and, and, and how deliveries go and, and just the ins and outs of what, what we got going on. I'm sorry, I'm super busy. I gotta go, I don't really have time to talk, but let's do it. Oftentimes we're getting on top of the trailer and making sure that little stuff like this, like that little tube right there, is uh, touching something. So I got a piece of dunnage right there just so, uh, so I can touch that with a chain. And so, pretty typical. So, good to go. There you have it. All chained down, ready to rock, ready to go. Truck. 60 plus thousand pounds on the deck. Like 62, 63,000. Just to give you a quick idea what the 605 X15 can do. 60 miles an hour of a pretty steep grade, steep enough to where it has a truck lane. And we just rolling up right with traffic pretty much. I'm watching all my temperatures, watching everything, making sure everything's good. But uh, I mean, you just pick the right gear and it, you know, thing goes right up like nothing. So just about, 58, 59, almost 60 miles an hour up what I'd say is probably like a 5% grade. That's pretty solid. I didn't talk about it, but I actually broke down here my first week uh, rolling with the truck. Uh, my front left airbag uh, was rubbing and it it popped. So I was literally on the side of the road on this curb up here. Uh, I kind of noticed it about right here is where I started noticing, noticing air. Uh, lose and then I kind of got over as best I could right here and I kind of rolled it all the way until underneath the bridge is where I ended up stopping but look at how th there's not much room right here and I was right there and people are trying to take this exit and, you know they're they're nuts a butt you know all the way through this this section in here is really busy so I was there for probably two probably close to three hours on the side of the road trying to get it figured out and uh shout out to bobby my co-worker he came and uh and brought me an airbag and brought me a jack and you know all the tools i needed to to get this thing uh up and rolling again so yeah shout out to bobby so just thought i'd share that here's olympia super beautiful sun's just now coming out beautiful over here What's up everybody i'm at my second drop here uh all they got is a little five footer at the top so the yard's super dusty like i said i just washed the truck yesterday and i already knew today it's gonna get dirty and it is what it is you know uh every yard i'm gonna go to today is pretty much just like this so it's what we deal with every single day so it's just a challenge to keep these things clean so like I said, they got that little five footer at the very top. And uh, I'll throw my other chain on and get the hell out of here. So there she is. Sun's out. 
so I'm getting ready to uh, get unloaded and the guy over here he's unloading me and uh, he's kind of like oh you know nice truck man nice truck I'm like oh thanks man fucking comes over there's no I'm like hey man there's no step up here there's no step so he's like oh I'll oh, just kind of crawl. I'm like, dude, there's no step before I know it. He's already on the truck. So he's like on it with his knees. I'm like, dude, what the fuck? Like, that's fresh paint, man. Let me just show you. So he gets on with his hand, with his gloves, scuffs here, goes there, goes there. So that's all dust. Now that's scrapes and scuffs right here with his fucking boot. You know, it's just like, dude, why why do you think that you have to get on right here? If you have to get on, you can get on by the tire. You can get on by the trailer tires. Like, you, you don't have to do that. This next stop, next place I'm getting ready to go to, <sighs> it's a hit or miss, sometimes really tight a lot of trucks in there sometimes it's not too bad uh it's a dust bowl though uh but it is what it is man you know truck's gonna get dirty so just gotta just gotta accept it so this is their yard they store a bunch of stuff here uh for other customers and things like that and uh they got a bunch of their own trucks so Good times, good times. So let's see how crazy it is in here right now. Just gonna pull in. Oh, it's not too bad. At least there's some room for me to kind of snake in there. They're already looking at me, so I'm gonna turn this off. It's not every day that I get a reload back, so I'm all unloaded. I got, I had a 64,000 pound load today. I had four drops, all unloaded, um, but Brown Strauss needs, uh, I think it's only like two, two pieces of pipe, like 20 inch uh, in diameter, uh, like 40 footers. So they need both of those back to the yard today. So I think the forklifts actually picking them up right now so it's been a while since i've hauled pipe this big so it'd be kind of cool so easy load back to the yard or you know back towards the direction of the yard and then i'll be done for the day so stay tuned Blasted with fucking rust from the fucking bike. <laughs> Jeez. What's that? You're fine right there. Just as long as it hits all dunnage, that's that's good. Yep.
it up. Go. Need more axles. That concludes our day. I'm about to unstrap this load and uh, get offloaded, head back to the yard in Portland, and uh, I'll try to do this all again tomorrow. So uh, today was a pretty easy day. Four drops and a backhaul, and I'll be home at a decent time. So like I said, thanks for watching, and that'll be the end of this video.